Hey, hello everybody, this is Maltenen, and uh, I've got a new exciting tutorial for you. Um, it's rather an experiment than a tutorial. It's a follow-up to the um, particle playground on fire uh, experiment that I did uh, like two weeks ago or something like that. Um, so today, uh, since it's late November and we're all going to need to do some Christmas related animation sooner or later, I figured that maybe today I'll cover making snow and what's interesting about this experiment is that as you can see in here the snow will stick to uh, the actor or to, to the uh, background to the buildings or whatever you have in your footage so um, so this tutorial focuses on making the snow stick rather than making it look good and look like a snow it is something for you to experiment with okay so let's let's start okay so we're starting off by importing the footage and dragging it onto the make new comp button. So as you can see this is George and he's pretending that the snow is falling onto his head and so on. So uh, we're going to generate the um, modification map as you remember from the uh, particle on fire, particle playground on fire tutorial. And let's call this resistant map. This is going to be you know, a name that means something. Then rather than the modification map. Okay, so first of all let's duplicate this layer and let's pre-compose it, so Control shift c or Command shift c on the Macintosh and let's call this Resistant George. Okay, and I'll double click on this and we're going to basically do it with the uh, fire example uh, but a little bit different. First of all let's find some edges. Find edges, that's right. And this already looks good but uh, I'd like to reverse the colors so let's click on invert and the next step is to um, apply some threshold And uh, yeah, that that looks okay, I think. Uh, if this doesn't work for you, you might try you might try to add uh, a, a minimax uh, filter, for example, to this. So like uh, set it to two or something to make the edges thicker. But I think that we're good with what we have straight from find edges and threshold. So. Uh, this is it, and the last step is to key out the blacks. Luma key. And key out darker. That's it. Okay, great. So we're good with this, and we can drag this to the bottom. Turn it off, we don't need it. And the next thing is we'd like to create a new solid that is going to be um, our snow layer. So let's call this snow particles and let's apply particle playground and by the way as I promised I'm planning to do some uh, trap code particular tutorials and maybe not only particular but also the other plugins and I have some cool ideas on how you can use those uh, filters so stay tuned and watch out for new tutorials okay so let's set the color of the particles to white because snow is generally white and okay we have this cannon that is looking like a fountain so we have to change the direction to 180 degrees so it's falling down and there's also this barrel radius which basically is the radius of the cannon so let's set this to uh, 400 pixels maybe maybe a bit less how big is this composition let me see well it's 640 so we can set this to Three oh sorry, three twenty. That's exactly what we need. Let me just zoom out for a second. And okay, we have the snow. And the next thing is do 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 particle radius. We can increase the radius of the particles. And let's see how fast they're going. Well, that's a bit fast for a snow ride, so let's change the velocity to 50. And maybe let's move the 
cannon position somewhere in here when you hold shift you'll you know just it will snap to horizontal or, or vertical axis from the point that you're dragging it so I'm holding shift right now to put it just above uh, the footage area and that already looks okay I think well it's still a bit fast so maybe let's go to gravity and change the force to maybe 60 half of that and let's see how it looks right now okay that's much better much better so that's it maybe let's apply some fast blur to blur the particles so they look more like a snow than a dots so like five no, that's too much three eh, it's okay I think and here's the fun part uh, remember how we set up the um, how we set up the layer exploder in particle playground on fire tutorial uh, to create particles from George's hands right from George's movement and in this case we are doing something uh, something different we don't want to use layer exploder but indeed we want to use a uh, property mapper and we want to use layer as map and the layer we want to use is resistant resistance George and now we have to map the values from the resistance George layer and we have a bunch to choose from but the ones that we are interested in are X speed and Y speed and what this will do as you can see it makes the particles stop it makes them stick for a while it just slows them down and in case you have a heavy gravity going on that works well for the par particles that are not colliding with any edges um, you might want to set this value to negative for example negative 2 let's see what that will do it makes them stick a little bit longer as you can see before the gravity is strong enough to pull them down so basically this is it as you can see this is this is maybe not the best example but I hope you will you know find some some cool ways to use this and one of the ways may be for example playing with text or logos or stuff like that so right now let's create a new comp let's make it uh, 640 by 320 